This is 3 News First Edition. Don't spill a drop. The new water restrictions in place for this coastal bend town, how you can conserve. Plus, a high-speed chase nets a parole violator in South Texas. What officers saw one man throw from his car. And it's time for our Friday Football Fanatic Series. I'm Sarah Costa live with the Miller Buccaneers looking for the person who has the most Miller school spirit. I know you're getting a feel for it, aren't you? Friday I don't know if that was mice. drumming or rain sounds. Hey, well, it sounds like yeah. a little bit of both today. Good morning, everyone. I'm John Thomas Cobos. It is 5 a.m. Friday, September 12th. Jay Monreal has the morning off. I'm meteorologist Alan Nolte. Yes, uh, we are going to be talking about some big changes in our weather forecast today. Right, and there may be some uh, raindrops hitting those drum heads out there a little, a little bit later on today. But right now, we are dry. 77 in Corpus Christi. A few clouds around. Clouds will be on the increase today. And look at the radar out in the Gulf of Mexico. Doesn't look like much, but you see those green little specs. Those are showers. Those are going to be on the increase as we head into uh, late this morning and this afternoon. We'll let you know what the rain's going to do and how it's going to affect Friday night football in a few minutes. Michael, I mean, John Thomas. Hey, John Thomas. It could be Michael Woo. Gibson. Yeah. Okay. In Robstown, stage three water restrictions are now in effect. The newly imposed measure means you can only water your lawn during the day once a month. You can, however, water your lawn with a handheld water hose any day uh, 6 p.m. before 10 a.m. If you are washing your car, you can only use a five gallon bucket. If you use a water hose, it must be handheld with an automatic shutoff valve. Water runoff cannot go onto streets. Restaurants can only serve water upon request. Visit our website at KTRIPLITV.com for a complete list of information on stage three water restrictions. The city of Corpus Christi remains under water uh, under stage two water restrictions. That means you can only water your lawn with a sprinkler on your designated trash day. You are not allowed to wash your car between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Handheld hoses also must have shut off valves. Near Three Rivers, a Central Texas man is dead after the big rig he was riding slammed head on into another. The accident happened early yesterday morning, roughly six miles east of Three Rivers. Troopers say 63 year old Billy Ransom Sr. of Temple was killed after an 18 wheeler veered into oncoming traffic and slammed into him. The big rig driver was transported to an area hospital with minor injuries. No citations have been issued. In Claiborne County, a 44 year old man remains in jail this morning after leading Kingsville police on a high speed chase. Car turn on County Road 73A. 73A. Investigators say 44 year old David Rocha refused to pull over during a traffic stop that led to a 40 minute pursuit. Officers witnessed Rocha through, throw crack pipes out of his window. He was eventually caught. Rocha was wanted on a parole violation. The controversy over when the NFL knew about Ray Rice's domestic violence incident continues to raise eyebrows this morning. NFL officials claim they did not see video of Rice punching his then fiance in an elevator until it surfaced on TMZ earlier this week. But an Associated Press report says a copy was sent to the league back in April and confirmed seeing it. The back and forth is putting NFL Commissioner Roger Good Goodell and 16 female senators have sent a letter to Goodell calling on the NFL to institute a zero policy, a zero tolerance policy for domestic violence. Overseas in Iraq, the U.S. continues to launch airstrikes on ISIS targets. The president announced Wednesday during his primetime speech those airstrikes will now be moving to Syria in an effort to hinder the militant group. 500 additional U.S. troops will be joining the more than 1,000 troops already on the ground in Iraq. CIA officials estimate there are at least 30,000 ISIS fighters in both Iraq and Syria. In South Africa, breaking news this morning, Oscar Pistorius has been found guilty of culpable homicide or negligent killing of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. Yesterday, Pistorius was found not guilty of premeditated murder. Pistorius faces up to 15 years in prison. A killer on the run captured. Just ahead, the overnight manhunt for an escaped convict responsible for a school shooting. First, 3 News reporter Sarah Costa is getting fired up, looking for the next football fanatic. She's live with the crew from Miller High School. Sarah. That is right. These guys are getting fired up. We have the drum line here. We have the Miller cheerleaders. And we even have a Miller Buccaneer here. When we come back, we'll be looking for the biggest Miller fan. is 3 News First Edition with John Thomas Cobos, Jane Monreal, 
Sarah Acosta, and NWA certified meteorologist, Alan Holt. This is 3 News First Edition. At Black's wall-to-wall -wall bonus sale, you get more than great savings. You get bonus furniture free. Get 15% at free bonus merchandise with any furniture, bedding, or accessory purchase. Buy $1,000, get a $150 bonus. Buy $2,000, get a $300 bonus. Buy $5,000, get an extra $750 in bonus furniture, bedding, or accessories. Free, plus no interest till 2018 at Black's wall-to-wall -wall bonus sale. What is an Affordable Dentures moment? It's when you realize you got your smile back in just one day at a price you didn't think possible. It's knowing you were treated with dignity and respect. For same-day dentures, extractions, and implants, call 1-800-DENTURE or go to affordabledentures.com for valuable coupons. Please don't put this off. You deserve a healthy and beautiful smile. Looking for designer glasses? Get Coach, Fendi, Armani, and more for the best prices at iMart Express. Or choose two complete pairs, frames, and lenses for $59.71. Two pairs with no-line bifocals for $129.71. All with a free one-year warranty. And you can wear your glasses today. We'll text you when they're ready. So come in today for great brands and great prices. You get a lot more for less at iMart Express. It is a good one, Seattle. What did Geico say to the mariner? We could save you a boatload. <laughs> but what's Seattle's favourite noise? The Puget Sound. <laughs> All right, never mind. Don't matter. This is a classic. What does an alien seamstress sew with? A space needle. <laughs> oh, come off it, Captain. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Sunday sale all month long at Wilkinson Chevrolet. Come out and enjoy free popcorn, sodas, and watch the game on our 60-inch flat screen. And get $500 off any deal when you shop our Sunday sale. Every Sunday this month, like a new Malibu for only $19,495. Plus take an additional $500 off every Sunday. Or a new cruise for $17,495 plus $500 off just for shopping our Sunday sale. Shop us online Saturday and come out for big savings on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at Wilkinson Chevrolet and Refurio. Are you a true fan of high school football? Are you the fan that screams your heart out at every game? We'll be visiting area McDonald's restaurants every week, so come out and show everyone in South Texas why you are the one they call the Friday Football Fanatic. Welcome back. Hope you're off to a great Friday. We're starting out fairly quiet, but things are going to change here, not only today, but especially by tomorrow morning. There are a few clouds around. You look out into the Gulf of Mexico, some clouds out there and some green is showing up on the radar. These are going to be showers that begin to push into the area, starting at the coast and then moving inland in the afternoon. There will be some rain around today uh, as a little piece of energy comes in from the Gulf of Mexico and we start to see a cool front head our way. It won't be here till the overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning, but it's already through Austin, not yet through San Antonio. It's in the Texas Hill Country right now. You see, though, a little bit of a drop off in temperatures, about seven degrees difference between San Antonio and Austin. Again, in the 50s in Amarillo, we're at 77 degrees in Corpus Christi. So this front is going to clash with a lot of tropical moisture. See how it's flowing from uh, basically southeast to northwest around the counterclockwise flow of an area of low pressure that's out in the Gulf of Mexico. So the low is going to track into South Texas heading into today. This is going to be our first round of rain. It will bring showers to the area by this morning, peaking this afternoon early and then dying off and moving inland later on this afternoon. But this will be the culprit for our round of rain today. And then tomorrow's rain chances go up as the front comes in, especially early on tomorrow morning. So this is one o'clock today. I think this will be the best chance to see the rain in coastal counties, then moving inland as the afternoon progresses by Friday night football time, though. I do think we see a lapse in the rain, a little window of drier weather, although still cloudy and probably a little soggy on some of the fields. I do think we get away with some dry weather for Friday night football. But after that, especially around midnight heading into tomorrow morning and uh, early in the morning, the front slides into the area that cloud 
clashes with all of our Gulf moisture and we get a lot of showers and thunderstorms around here, especially Saturday morning, tapering off a little bit as the day wears on. The best chance for rain by far, it looks like to be tomorrow morning. And we are going to be talking about significant amounts of rain. This is the forecast through Sunday morning, but the lion's share of the rain I think happens tomorrow morning, one to three inches of rainfall on the average with some spots getting lollipopped with a little bit more than that. Some places could get up to about four inches of rain through Sunday morning. So today rain chances will be there. It's not going to be the best shot, but I think we do peak with our rain chances today. Early afternoon around noontime, maybe a rumble of thunder too. We keep the rain in place in Corpus Christi till about three, then push it inland with the sea breeze with the clouds and rain today. 89 degrees. That'll be it for our temperatures tonight. Rain becomes likely after midnight. We get away, I think, with Friday night football. I think we stay dry for that, but after midnight uh, rain becoming very likely 76 our forecast low temperature overcast and humid and northeast winds as the front slips through the area. If you're going out on the waters, rip current risk will be labeled moderate higher than normal tides too with easterly flow at 10 to 15 knots out on the waters today. So front comes in tomorrow morning 83 degrees on Saturday. That's a function of the front, the clouds and the rain. A little bit less rain on Sunday. Then we start to warm up for Monday and Tuesday of the coming week and we'll have to watch the tropics by Wednesday of next week and that could offer up another shot for rain for the middle of the coming week. John Thomas. Thank you, Alan. In Ohio, two prison escapees are back in their cells this morning after leading police on a manhunt. TJ Lane, who was serving three life sentences for a school shooting two years ago, managed to scale the fence with three other prisoners. For more than five hours, officers scoured neighborhoods looking for the convicts. Lane was eventually found 100 yards away near a church. He did not put up a fight. One other escapee has also been recaptured. The third escapee, who was serving time for aggravated robbery, is still on the run. Hundreds of Coastal Bend athletes and band members are getting ready for tonight's big game. So are their parents. 3 News reporter Sarah Costa is live with the selection underway for the next Friday football fanatic. Sarah. Good morning. I think uh, spirit, this the uh, oldest school in town, and uh, we have a real big following regardless of what's happening. Our football games are always packed, our basketball games are packed, a lot of support for the band, and uh, God, we get a lot of parents that they're, now their children are here, grandchildren are here, so it's awesome, good well, tradition. Good tradition, well thank you guys for being with us this morning, and this is all for our Friday Football Fanatic Series, partnering with McDonald's and how Monica is a total cutie. Sarah, you need to show her how to shake the pom-poms, though. That's how you need to do that. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in a little bit. So I only have one question for you right now this morning. Does your milkshake bring all your friends to the yard? Still to come, we celebrate all things chocolate milkshake today. We'll be, uh, you will be surprised by the list of ingredients first used. Plus, we have Mr. Food. I would highly recommend Alpha and Omega for your siding needs on your homes. As far as energy efficiency, it's, I've noticed a difference with some of the winds we've had. The drafts I've had in the house in the past, I don't have anymore. So I've used Alpha and Omega for beautiful siding put on my home. It was energy efficient and very professionally done. Okay, I hired Alpha Omega with uh, siding and windows. They remodeled my whole house and they did an excellent job. See them at 5715 Christine Street in Corpus Christi. This is the moment you've trained for. Don't let the pressure throw you off. You can do this. Got it, coach. I'm out to beat Bobby Flay. Come on, coach. What do you know about cooking? It's not that hard. Oh, thanks. I learned from the best, you. I never miss an episode of Beat Bobby Flay with the TWC TV app. I can watch my favorite shows anytime, anywhere. <laughs> I got no way to beat that. Call now to get a bundle starting at $79.99 a month. Upgrade to a qualifying package to get a free Dell 2-in-1. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Hit by a company vehicle? 
Injuries never take a break. Neither do we. Call Thomas J. Henry 24-7 nights and weekends. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, friend, buddy. Now that's a pleasant surprise. Just like direct auto insurance, you get a low rate, flexible payment plan and great services regardless of your driving history. Like pick your payment date. You choose when you want to pay. Get a low rate now and be pleasantly surprised with direct auto. We got a 1410 in progress at the Auto Row Superstore. Great. What's that? Run, run around. Go, hey, you. Go, go. Need a great car at a great price. It's drive time. But my credit really isn't that good. Do you like the musical arts? I yeah. drive time, your credit problem. It's not a problem yet. Theme song. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Save yourself. Get approved at drive time first. Call, click, or visit today. The Friday Night Sports Blitz. Friday nights at 1035, only on TV3. Skip breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and just head directly to dessert. Yeah, well, that's how oh. I like it sometimes. Mr. Food shows us how to make a chocolate milkshake pie. Believe it or not, today is National Chocolate Milkshake Day. And even though milkshakes date back to the early 1900s, they're still one of our most popular summertime treats. So to honor it, I knew an ordinary chocolate milkshake wouldn't do. So we're celebrating it by turning it into a decadent pie. And the best part, there's no baking required. We just combine some slightly softened vanilla ice cream with a bit of milk and chocolate syrup. Make sure you soften the ice cream or you'll have one heck of a time. Once that's smooth, add in a pack of instant chocolate pudding mix and give it a good stir and pour it into a graham cracker pie crust. We're using a store-bought crust, but you can always make your own if you have the time. Then just put it in the freezer. When you're ready to serve it, top it off with a little whipped cream and a few maraschino cherries. Then slice it and get ready for that classic milkshake taste in every bite. It's sort of like a, a milkshake meets an ice cream cake, and all it took was a few basic ingredients to pull this off. I assure you, this chocolate milkshake pie is to die for, so don't forget to go online and get the recipe. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where every day we're looking for an easier way for you to celebrate all of the, ooh, it's so good. The cherry uh, always goes great on the top, but you know, if you're a calorie counter, we don't want you to watch this next segment. Actually, you should. Today's National That's Chocolate right. Milkshake Day. We have a bunch of stuff in front of us here. The first time the term milkshake was used, it's not in a song. It was in print <laughs> in 1885, but it was not for the thick and delicious drink we're about to and we're used to seeing. You see them right there. It was actually in reference to a whiskey eggnog type of drink that was made with eggs and whiskey. It didn't become the term we know today until about 1900. So we have our milkshake ingredients right here. Okay, you want to start um, with the scoop of the yeah, chocolate? Yeah, we'll go we got there. we got the bluebell ice cream. Of course, we're in Texas, so we got to use the, the. Well, milkshakes became increasingly popular with the uh, invention of the electric blender in 1922 because of the uh, blender. Milkshakes today take its whip and frothy okay, that's, form. That's the ice cream that's now. That's the frothiness right I'm there. I'm gonna add right? some milk to that. That's not a whole okay. lot of ice cream though. I'm not oh, gonna lie. Oh. Okay, you know. well I've got a cup here, and we have more. <laughs> I think we have more. And if you want to be a little bit healthier, you can add ice to it as well, just to give a little extra that's ice in there okay and we're gonna imagine that we're gonna blend this we don't have it plugged in right now so just bear with okay, us. okay there it goes there it's going go. on and look at that we just pulled it out and uh, voila yep milkshakes boom milkshakes and we're national milkshake day so can't go wrong this is like the only time we can ever do this right I guess so. I guess it's all right for this day. But hey, we're glad you're tuning too. in this morning. Three yeah. News First Edition, your number one source for news in the morning. And weather, too. We're going to let you know what the Blitz forecast looks like for tonight's Friday night game. Stay with us. Chubby's Mattress is your memory foam headquarters. 